in this video you will learn how to configure ibm data replication instance to retrieve database secrets from secret manager applications through a user exit let's start with some key requirements the user have to be on iidr version 11.4.0.4.5629 or later to configure secret manager user exit feature the secret stored in secret manager must have a minimum of read access the user should create a java based cdc user exit following the documentation or use a sample user exit provided in the cdc installation directory samples folder only user exit will be responsible to retrieve secrets only user exit compiled with java 8 are supported All the credentials that are required for creating a replication instance should be added to secret manager application and key to the secrets should be provided while in instance creation. Let's start by creating a replication instance. I have already installed CDC. This is my CDC installation directory and this is the user exit to retrieve credentials from vault. copy the user exit folder to the replication lib the folder structure of the user exit should be same as the package name provided in the for the user exit uh, class file i will change the directory to replication lib now compile the vault user exit it is recommended to use java 8 compiler we'll create the replication instance now bear with me till i give some of the initial instance configuration and database parameters please provide y input when configuration tool asks to retrieve credentials from external secret store configuration tool also asks to provide a user exit class name and also vault key for database user credentials please provide the keys configuration tool will get the credentials from vault and use it to retrieve db schemas enter or select the db schema you need for replication and provide other instance parameters wait till replication instance starts the instance is successful and as you can see the db schema is test user and instance is running in the management console access manager tab create a new data store and provide data store name host name and port after adding data store assign a user to the data store and provide connection parameters the connection parameters will be the keys to the credentials stored in vault Now that the data store is connected, we will create a new subscription and select source and target tables for replication.
we will first start with refresh we have we will insert one row and start mirroring If one row is replicated, refresh is sub successful. Let's add two more rows to check mirroring. As you can see both the rows are also replicated so mirroring is also successful. 